So, hello guys, welcome back to SRL. Today, we're starting off with a qualifying lap. This was my first fastest lap on the hard tyre. I absolutely cut the last corner then by accident. Uh, so, coming through the first corner, I'm pretty sure I took that flat in seventh gear. Breaking down now into the third corner, I believe this is. Running way off the track. So, as you can see already, this is not going to be... A fast fast lap but this was the only lap that wasn't invalidated on the medium tires because going through Manx and Beckett's uh, I'm pretty sure it's on like the third or the second corner I my wheel kept going over that and it kept like bloody cut invalidating my lap and I was getting really annoyed and always on them laps I was getting purple in the first sector and it, it was really annoying <laughs> but anyway stop talking about that this is our qualifying lap on the mediums so we are coming down into cops now, downshifting twice there, which you usually don't do, but I just felt like I had to, because the car just wasn't turning in properly, coming through the fast section now, section that I love on this game, uh, and we, you can see by the delta we're up, because on the lap before where it got invalidated, so I just literally put the brakes on, didn't want to wear these tyres down anymore, uh, which in the race actually happened to help me because you'll probably see what will happen later on in the video that unfortunately there's no game sound because I didn't record a live commentary but microphone broke again so it's like uh, a bit crackled but we're gonna cut on now to the fastest lap on the uh, on the soft tires so here we go coming around now we're currently in P6. First corner, take a flat seventh gear again. Rampage has just gone fastest again. So he, he's just improved this time. So it looks like we're not getting, uh, getting that pole position. Rampage just retired. That's how confident he is with four minutes, I believe, left in the session. And we are coming down the straight now, coming into the Luffield section of the track, breaking down. I was sort of struggling with this corner for the entire weekend. Uh, I just kept running a bit too far over the kerb, which isn't a bad thing, but in the race it also gives you like warnings and then that builds up to penalties, which you obviously just don't want. So we're coming up on our delta, so up on our medium lap, taking uh, cops very nicely there for me. Uh, coming down to the Magnus and Beckett section now. Here we go, got a bit of a wiggle coming in the middle then, that was a bit risky. Hope you guys like my helmet, it's white, uh, red and blue, the colours of the UK flag and also my like Silverstone helmet, home Grand Prix helmet. I made it just for this, it's the first time actually running a different helmet I believe. Um, pardon me, different helmet for a SRL race, my home race as you like to call it. Uh, so yeah, coming across the line now, and we've gone on to P2, that was a bloody good lap by me, so our teammate was actually just coming out of pits after we were on the in, in lap, so uh, we've just picked our teammate there, Sarcho, uh, so yeah, there's the results, there's only actually, <laughs> there's only actually 8 of us racing in today's race, because no one could turn up and I don't actually understand what had happened because I'm pretty sure everyone said the race and then just didn't turn up but that make, makes it even better for us so no matter where we are going to finish including Faction and Parlour who you know by the noob journey um, doesn't have the best of races uh, even Faction was going to get points unless he crashes out uh, which would be a bit sad because he's worked so hard for this lap as you can see we're on the formation lap so I am going to rest my voice for the rest of this lap and then I will be back with you on the grid
So, we are lining back up on the grid. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that silence there. <laughs> um, so, we are now going on the start of the race. And we are a go. And I'm pretty sure that Ferrari and that bloody Sauber have jumped the start. Because no way can you have a start that good. Literally, the lights just went out. And they've already gone. They must have had a jump start, surely. A rampage has been took out by the Ferrari. What is going on? Roadrunner's just gone up her inside. Let's try and get it back. Because I was feeling really confident at this track. That I could... Uh, <coughs> that I could make some uh, moves happen. So we're going to go up the inside here. It's left the door open. But that puts us on the outside of the love field. As you can see, the Ferrari's in front of us still. I'm pretty sure he's going to go up or inside, or he still is there. So we're on the curb. He's got us. Are we going to be able to get in, try and go through the Magnus and Beckett section? Because the cops is a bit of a risky corner unless he goes way, way, way wide. Uh, which the Ferrari's done. The Ferrari's gone wide. It looks like he's got a puncher or something. Because the way that the car just sort of went away like that. But now our teammate looks like he was going to have a go at us there. But he backed out of it, which was a smart move. Because we don't want any more contact in the constructors. Obviously... Basically, it's the team we're sort of behind because last race I couldn't make it, uh, and Sarcho disconnected from the last race, which obviously we don't want to happen. So, yeah, we are now coming down. Oh, so he's got us! What a move! Jeez, that was a hell of a move there. Nearly had contact. I actually had to steer away then so we didn't die. An emerald's just gone up our inside, but that was such a dive bomb and I was raging at that point. I was like, okay, why the hell have I got bloody let him back through? What a muppet. And as we're coming through, he's ran wide and he's just he just stopped on the track. And we've lost our front wing. What the hell? And then we've got VJ going up our inside there, which was a bit risky, so I had to go straight across the bloody runoff area and try not to blow up. But now we've got both of the hazards in front of us. Uh, so we're just going to cut on to when I came in the pits. Because unfortunately I just couldn't handle the no front wing. And my tyre, basically, I'm not going to lie, had nearly exploded at this point. Just because of the wear on Silverstone with the the amount of right hand turns there is. It puts so much stress on the left hand side of the car. Especially the front tyre on the left. So we're coming for a set of mediums. Obviously, as I said in qualifying... Uh, these set of mediums will sort of help us. Obviously, we're coming a lap before our, of a teammate as well. So, we'll just try to get the gap a bit bigger. So, we're coming out of the pits, basically. Uh, this, what I should have noted down is how long it takes me to go through the pit lane. Because that would have helped me come in uh, out later into the race. But... Uh, I sort of figured it out whilst I was driving around anyway. It's around 25, 26 seconds. So, yeah. Uh, that would help me coming on. But we're now coming around to the lap after. So, lap 5. We've eight overtaken people that are coming out of the pits. We're going to take turn 1 pretty fast. We've got Rampage there, which is okay. And he's left us some room, which is absolutely great. So, we're going to get him around the outside. So, it looks like a strategy has paid off the fact that we are now jumping back up the field and we've actually got a front wing so the next um, target is going to be Emerald so it's just going to be trying pulling away from Rampage at this point so as you can see we are now up to 5th, teammate is in front of us there's a has coming out of the pits there, it's VJ, what's he doing? You oh. oh my god you'll probably see me in the just come out of the corner that VJ person came straight out of the pit, came straight across the track and just took me out. Our is five, yeah. Four. So yeah, basically what you guys could hear then was me doing the live commentary and we're absolutely raging. I was so mad. I, I cut away there when some bleep words came out of my mouth. Uh, because I was just so annoyed. I was like, that has just ruined my race, basically. Because I was, I was going to catch my teammate. I know I could have, but that just ruined it. So I had to go in the pits again. And I put on the hard tyres. And there was no way that they were getting to the end. But I just had no choice, really. Them medium tyres would have destroyed themselves with the no front wing. So that would have been pretty useless. 
the, the hard tyres, they were probably the best bet for me because I'm not going on like a 27 stop strategy with just the bloody soft tyres. That would have been mental and stupid. So, uh, so yeah. We are now cutting onto lap 16. As you can see, Scott is in front of us here. Uh, so, we're also going to catch him. But, oh, we got a drive through, didn't we? So, we got a surface first. So, that also ruined our race. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That, that was so close to getting another one then. The car basically came in sideways and then it took over. So we're coming in for a drive through. I've pretty much seen all of the pit lane at this point. Hang on, no. We're not coming for a drive through. We're changing back onto the medium tyres like a boss. So, I got that wrong. It must have been a couple of laps before or maybe after this. I got a, I got a drive through. And I was. Oh no, was it after this? No, it wasn't, sorry. Uh, as you can see, the party broke for me, so I wasn't able to speak to my teammate, which was very frustrating. Uh, so, yeah, we couldn't do team orders, even though there was none anyway. As you can see, when I was going on about the pit lane, uh, actually, I must have got the drive through before. I can't remember now. But as you can see, when I was just speaking about a teammate, because we had to sort of get back onto the back of Factual to try and overtake him. So, we're going to try and go up the inside of Stowe. Sure, that's why that corner's called in front of his ear. Stow, yeah. Because the grandstand's Stow ABC or something like that. One, I don't know. <laughs> but you guys would probably know the corner name. I know most of them on this track, but I just get a bit confused with what they're called. I don't know the name for this. I'm pretty sure it's Abbey or something, or that's somewhere else. I don't know. This is Village, I know that. But as you can see, we've caught up to Scott. So this is for P6. Scott is running very wide. I don't know if he actually let us through then, or he was just going off for an adventure on the marbles or whatever. Cutting on to lap 22 now. We have got a teammate in front of us, and I believe this is where we have to come in for our pit stop again because these tyres were absolutely knackered. And I'd already built up a big enough gap to, to Factual and Scott, so I thought I could probably risk going on uh, the super soft tyres and also at this point I had 12 seconds of penalties so uh, yeah and I sort of knew Faction and Scott were a bit slower than me so I could probably pull out a gap with the amount of laps remaining obviously the gap's got to be 12 seconds I'm hoping that them guys have penalties as you can see Rampage has just gone through uh, and he's just set the fastest lap I was I'm not gonna lie, the main reason why I did cut me in was to try and get a fastest lap again. Uh, but yeah, it was good anyway. So coming out of the pit lane now, we're on to lap 23. Factual just got in front of us again. So we're gonna have to re-overtake Factual and then pull a lead. Which is uh, basically like deja vu. So we're gonna cut on to Max and Beckett, which is... Um, where we nearly made the move last time but didn't but the, personally this is one of my favorite moves i've done so far in gp3 uh see factors go very slowly here so i was just like it's gone wide i'm just gonna put it around his outside round here basically like what max verstappen did and i made the move stick and i was pretty pleased with myself there uh so yeah just trying to defend from him but i'm not sure where factual went at this point it sort of just disappeared off the map so this is lap 24 this is the fastest lap I yeah this is my fastest lap so Scott's just set fastest lap not quite sure how he did that but uh, corner cuts maybe I don't know but we are gonna try and set the fastest lap here but also when I set the fastest lap my teammate had to go and beat it so there is quite a lot of rivalry in the Mercedes camp a lot like there was between Nico Rosberg and Lewis Hamilton so we are currently gone green so it's not purple so uh not the best first sector but it's our personal best so it isn't that bad uh really during this i was just trying to get a lot of um just trying to be consistent with the lap times fortunately i was quite consistent going through the pit lane not on the lap but we managed to back up to p6 which isn't bad points really i'm pretty sure that was the guy in second that was somehow in the wall but i'm pretty sure he's got enough time for him to uh 
he, he's a lap in front of us, so obviously he's pretty safe. So uh, we've gone green again, so we're going to have to make up a lot of time in this last sector for us to get a purple lap. Uh, take Going down to fourth gear there, which uh, I never usually do. I usually stay in fifth, but I went down to fourth that time. Down to second here, going through the chicane, just blipping the throttle a bit. And just coming up through around here. Try not to hit the curb on the inside. Because it does throw your car about. And that is our fastest lap. And then the next lap. It gets beaten by our teammate. Which I was uh, very upset about. But this is the last lap of the race. Uh, for me anyway. And we have got. Who is this? Is this a Red Bull in front of us? Or has. It better not be the one that took us out. Else I'm going to cry. But I'm pretty sure that's one of the leaders anyway that's in front of us. So as you can see, our engine basically had blown up nearly this race. And that's what I was quite worried about. That was one thing I was thinking about during the race. Is my engine going to explode? I was ready for it to explode. And I'm actually surprised it didn't. So uh, yeah. We are coming through now to Cops. He's run very close to the wall. I'm pretty sure he nearly hit it then. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if he did. Uh, so yeah, we're now coming down. Okay, he's on the grass. What is going on here? Okay, that was a Ferrari. So, and I'm pretty sure that's one of the leaders off as well there in the gravel. So I don't understand what's happened here. If you've noticed on the map as well, I don't have a. Uh, I have two teammates, and I don't actually have a position where I am on track. And there you go, teammates just gone fastest. That was very frustrating because this is what was my last lap. So yeah, I don't actually have a blimp on the map, so it was very con frustrating. Congrats to Rampage for winning. He had a very dominant race. I would have liked to challenge him, but there was just no way with the race that I had. But thank you guys. I'll let you look at standings now. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe if you want to see New Journey, The League, and the also SRL and many random videos.